It was the first time that I had to realize that um, this business, the drag business, is all about themselves. Okay. And I get, you know, I, I get like I want to look out for myself, but when somebody like me, who's been around for 10 years, and I, I, I am so grateful, I have taken time off, and I've found myself, and the community has supported me no matter what, and I do appreciate that because I think that is the, the true heart of Carnita, Nathan, whatever, it's like mad love. And I, I kid you not, this community has been there many, many times, and they'll continue to be there because they're, that's the reason why I, I am Carnita. That's why I am so bold sometimes because I feel like there is um, this misunderstood part of the community that doesn't get represented that much. And I think what it is is the people that don't get represented that much, um, they just back down from this force that says, like, these people that have been around for a while. Mm -hmm. And I have heard it said to the people that I love, like I work with now, I have heard it weeks ago, months ago, even a year plus ago, I heard these things where some of the veteran and uh, individuals would tell the girls or guys in the back, in the, in the dressing room, like, why'd you wear that? Yeah. Don't ever do that. Don't ever throw your money up in the air. You mm -hmm. really need to do this kind of song. Hmm. And I was like, that's no, that's, that's not okay. Yeah. And then I, I know like your heart, your heart is like, I really want them to fit in and I really want them to like fill the mold, but you shouldn't have to try to do that with all these new performers because some of the new performers will, will never be what you want them to be. And that's why they're amazing. Okay. Okay. They'll never be what you want them to be. So uh, that brings up a very interesting point. So when you say what you want them to be, would you say there's a lot of like, uh, would you say there's like a, a lot of like, um, this is how it's supposed to be yes. in this community? Yeah. How does that, uh, how does that affect who you are as a performer and as an individual? Like, so let's talk a little bit about Carnita. Carnita saw this, like, <clears throat> well, if how I, does that affect if I go, if I go back and like when I originally started drag, it's like, I started, I worked in, in the clubs, um, like an old club in uh, Scottsdale. Like I was really in Scottsdale a lot because that's where I worked. And I worked for one of the legends here that has been around for years. And I was one of her like um, table cleaners, like, <laughs> I mean, like waitress. I don't know what you call them. Uh, bus, bus boy. <laughs> I don't know. I would just like go around and like table. We'll go table clean. That's fine. Table. Clean. I'm okay with that. I'm in love with it. Go so ahead. I would clean the tables, and and then I ended up starting giving people drinks, and then I moved, moved to bartender. Okay. But the experience that I had is not the person. Like the per the experience that I had with the person is not the person I know them to be that they are now to some some new people. Okay. Are so, you talking about somebody individual? Yeah. Or, I, okay. Um, well, I'm talking as a whole, but I'm talking about like what really got me like hooked. Got gotcha. you. Is um, I I ended up wearing like costume lashes, and I'm not talking like like I'm talking like I waited specifically for a long time to go after Halloween to Walgreens. Okay. <laughs> to get that fifty percent off Halloween stuff, like like Halloween stuff, like crazy feathers and like. Sure. Like bird wings that you're like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with them? And I didn't do any other makeup, just my eye makeup with lashes. And I worked okay. at this club. And um, I, you know, bar bartended and gave people drinks and cleaned the tables and all that fun stuff. But then I was able to um, get asked um, to, to continue on after they changed ownerships. And the new owners, they're like, you need to... You need to tone that down, and I can't have you wearing oh. lashes anymore. Okay. So you started to build this character. You started to build this No, person, no. I was or... actually starting to feel my comfort. Okay. All right. And Tell I really felt that. so freeing when I wore, like, a, a winged eye or, like, sure. those big lashes. I just sure. felt like... I felt like it was my true self. So when you were being your true self... Yeah. Um... You started to have people tell you not to be that person. Yeah. Um... Well, I had people just, um... Not 
not until the new owners happened. So okay. everybody just kind of left it alone because they knew me and I worked with them and they kind of like, were like, oh, cool, just big homo. Sure. Um, <laughs> okay. A homo and a homo bar, like what are you gonna expect, you know? Right. Um, so the new owner said, I don't want you to wear lashes anymore and you need to tone it down, like not. And this was a gay bar? It was originally, yeah. So why would why would someone tell you, so why would someone in the community running a gay well, bar I think, tell you I to think, call? I think they were straight. I don't know. Okay. I didn't really. Well, I didn't really get that far. Okay. Um, because <laughs> they did close down shortly after. So. Um, okay. I How long ago was this? Oh my gosh, this is. Gosh, I knew you were gonna ask this. A long time ago. Okay. Very long. Time At ago. least 2010, maybe before that. Um, but anyways, so this. So they told me to turn it down, and I I went up the stairs because the dressing room was upstairs at the time in like the manager's office. Sure. And I like bawled and I was crying and I like like this is how I remember it. As I remember telling I'm gonna say her name, Barbara Seville. Sure. I remember telling her this story. And the way I remember and I will always choose to remember is Barbara. Hello? Am I doing a commercial for you or for me? Oh, for me? All right, hi everybody, it's me, Carnita Thought I'm over here yonder, um, listening uh, the same time you are. And the cool thing is, coming up is the love show with me. Um, please, tune in. I'm begging you. Tell a friend, maybe. But if you want to listen to more episodes, go to ybspros.com or find me on every social media. Carnita Asada, the only one, except for Twitter, because y'all are, y'all are hateful.